try to develop intuition to solve this problem. Let's say our input is 2. How many output do you think is possible in this case? There can be just one output which is B. There can be just one output because around this 2 we do not have any number with which it can combine to form a different output. So why combinations are possible? Combinations are possible because the, our alphabets also exist in double digit which means had there been a 6 along with 2 they could have combined together to form Z as output while they could have worked stand alone to form B and F as output or they could have combined to form Z as output ok so we see that a number can also combine with other numbers around it to form a different output this is why this question is a bit difficult because we need to find out all different combinations possible within a given input ok so let's see let's say our input is 25114 so why do we have 6 as output if you take the first digit here the total number of outputs will be 1 now if we take 25 how many total outputs will be there 1 is with 2 this 5 can combine with 2 to make a different output and this 5 can work standalone also to make a different output in case wherein 5 combines with 2 the output is Z and this is different from 2 working standalone which means when I was at 0th index 2 was working standalone to form one different output now when I am at first index 2 combines with 5 to make one single output which means these two outputs are different ok so the number of outputs if 5 combines with 2 is 1 plus 1 let's take the different case wherein 5 works standalone when 5 works standalone 2 is also independent and 5 is also independent which means the first the one that we have here continues to be valid because 2 is working standalone the number which came next is also working standalone so the number of outputs continues to be only 1 if they if they work standalone always the number of output will be 1 however only when 5 combines with 2 the number of output output becomes 1 plus 1 which is 2 ok so till 2 5 we have seen that the number of outputs are 2 let's make a table here that will be better so there are 5 digits here 0 1 2 3 4 ok so at 0th index we can make only one output at 1th index we can make two outputs what happens at this one here now can this one combine with 5 it is not possible because when it combines it makes 51 and 51 is out of bounds to our maximum limit which is 26 so this one will always work independently of 5 here which means that total number of output which are here which is let's say B E or 25 is Y 25 is Y sorry again 25 is Y will combine with this A so the total number of outputs right now are these two this one will always work independently to combine with B E or Y so the output will be B E A or Y A in this case you see that when this number Y is not able to combine with the previous number the total number of outputs remains same here so it is 2 again here ok so what happens with this next one now it becomes 2 over 5 1 1 now this 1 here is able to combine with this one here because 
they form 11 which is k okay so what would happen if this one will continue to work independently and what would happen if this one combines with this one here if this one combines with this one here then these two five are our previous cases and the next input is 11 which means it is b e y and we get 11 as in another input so it becomes b e k and y k okay so this continues to be 2 and then if it is 2 5 1 and we are getting 1 as input then it was b e a y k followed by b e a a and y k a so how many different outputs are possible here 1 2 3 4 4 outputs are possible here let's see the last term 4 2 5 1 1 4 again it is possible for this 4 to combine with this one now if which means our input could be 14 or our input could be 4 what was the case when our input was 14 it was 2 5 1 2 5 1 we had we, with 2 5 1 we know we had two inputs two outputs b e a and y k when 14 gets combined to it it makes n and y k n now when we have 2 5 1 1 we know we have b e k y k b e a it's a 11 o'clock y k a okay and when this 4 comes in place we get a d here a d here a d here and a d here so how many total outputs are possible 6 let's see if there is a pattern here so if the total number of input digits input characters is just one there will be always one output possible if the total number of input characters the length of input is greater than one then we'll have to calculate let's see here what happened so the sum of these two numbers it can be calculated as 2 into 10 plus 5 into 1 which is 25 if this is smaller than the maximum possible limit smaller than or equals to the maximum possible limit then we are able to com combine this number with the previous number and we will get different outputs in this case so in this case the total number of the total number of possibilities are of the total number of possibilities at i minus 2 and i minus 1 so if our index is 4 the total number of possibilities at 4 would be 2 plus 4 wherein this 2 belongs to second index and 4 belongs to the third index this is true only if the current index and the previous index they make a sum which is less than or equals to 26 and this is happening because the number which is coming as input can act independently when it acts independently it is adding to the i minus 1 possibilities so if the last number 4 came into us and we had calculated possibilities till 1 1 here this 4 when acts alone add to the total number of outputs to 2 5 1 1 which is this 4 here when it acts with this one in place it adds to the total number of output to 2 5 1 which is 2 here so if if only this number the current index added to the last index in this manner wherein this is the tens so the last index is at tens digit the current index it is at the ones digit they form a number which is less than 26 the possibility is going to be the possibilities at 
i minus 2 plus the possibilities at i minus 1 if this is the possibilities array okay so this is wherein we have a sum which is less than 26 what would happen if something like 29 comes in place now this 9 can never combine with 2 because 29 is a number which is greater than 26 and which is the maximum limit for our alphabets so in this case the total number of outputs are going to be only one because these numbers are acting independently what would have happened if this 9 come at this place here in this case the total number of possibilities for 25 we have seen is 2 however now we know that this 9 is not going to combine with 5 so the total number of possibilities continues to remain 2 because when 2 5 combine they make y when they when the 2 5 acts independently they make b and e and when 9 comes in place it makes i and i so the total number of output remains same so we now know that whenever there is an input which when added to the previous number here makes a number which is greater than 26 we know that the number of outputs are going to remain same similarly there is one more final case which is an invalid case so what would happen if the input is something like 200 this is just not because possible because this 0 cannot act independently and this 0 cannot act with the previous 0 also so the sum of the two numbers has to be greater than 0 in similar fashion if the input is just 0 it is also an invalid case is this final case wherein we have an input like 2210 now uh, let's make it simple let's keep it as 210 this 2 when as first input would be b when this comes in place when this 1 comes in place we have either b a or we have u but when this 0 comes in now we know that this 1 cannot combine with 2 because then this 0 would make the entire thing invalid so this output is not possible and this 1 when combines with this 0 when combines with 1 would make the output as b j so whenever we have a 0 here which is able to combine with the previous number the total number of output at this 0 at, at this index 0 1 2 second index is the total number of outputs at i minus 2 index okay so this was the intuition for solving the problem alpha code it's a difficult problem it's a problem on dynamic programming i hope you are able to develop the intuition in the next video we'll be looking at the code which is much much simpler code it's a 10 15 lines of code that we have if you have absolutely any doubts over this question or any doubts over the video please ask in comments and don't forget to like share and subscribe Thank you.